I'm just going to tell you, this is what I'm waiting on. How many times you've been a blessing to people because of the love that's in your heart, because of the righteousness that the Father has placed in your heart, in spite of everything you've been through, in spite of all the abuse, in spite of all the mistreatment that you receive from people from childhood on up. People that you just helped, blessed, took care of, made a way for. People that had more than you and you blessed them. And you gave them your all. And in the end, they had nothing for you. To read the scripture where the Bible says that men may have forgotten about you. They have forgotten your labor of love. That he will not. Is so encouraging. And every time you get discouraged, every time you want to throw in the towel, every time when you know that you have the spirit of excellence upon you, you have a spirit that wants to do right, desires to do right, but you constantly see and deal with wicked people. You constantly see people who take advantage of your kindness for weakness. When it's only the love of the Most High that's being presented in you, through you, the light that you carry, I want you to remember this. He told me to tell you, I'm about to bless you because of the seeds you sown into other people. And you never ask for anything in return. For all the times you supported their business, their dreams, their goals, their things, God says, I've been watching your seed that you have invested your deeds, you place in other people's life. And you wasn't even expecting anything. And God says, just because you are doing the right thing, just to be doing the right thing. He says, I'm about to water your seed, which means I'm about to make everything that you've been sowing into other people's life, come back to you a hundredfold. You're finally about to get your reward. Not because you asked for it, because you've been faithful for it, because you prayed for people, because you sowed into their life because you prayed for people, because you kept on being faithful when you didn't know when your time was going to come. God says, this season is your harvest season, and you're about to get it all back. God just told me to tell you. And I receive it in Jesus' mighty name.